we are introducing an entirely new class of Windows PCs engineered to unleash the power of distributed AI across the edge and cloud. We call this new category Copilot Plus PCs. Microsoft stands in the AI space once again, introducing a new lineup of PCs centered around AI powered features. They're supercharging their new Surface laptop with Copilot AI experiences, making them super fast and super intelligent. And every Microsoft executive who came on stage spoke about how the new Copilot Plus PCs were better than the MacBook. Let's take a look at the four best features of Microsoft's new offering. The first one is Recall. Through Recall, users can locate something they've previously searched for by literally scrolling across time. My family and I have been searching for the perfect dress for my grandmother, who lives in Colombia, to wear at my cousin's wedding. I've been browsing Pinterest and shopping websites for some options that I can share with her. After looking for options for a few weeks, I wanted to go back and see some of the favorite blue dresses I have found, but I didn't keep all my browser tabs open. With Recall, I can just search for blue dress, and it pulls together all the dresses I have seen. Now, Grandma decided that she wanted to get the awesome pantsuit that we shared in our Discord chat about three weeks ago. Now, scrolling through multiple weeks of chat messages to find that specific dress would have taken an eternity. Instead, with Recall, it was easy. I refined my search using descriptive language, blue pantsuit with a sequin lace from Abuelita. And as you can see, Recall quickly found the Discord chat my family and I were using to discuss the options. And here it is, the dress that Abuelita liked. The second one is live captions. This can help translate audio from over 40 languages into English, which by the way, works offline as well. So any audio that travels through the PC, like say a video that you're watching or if you're attending a meeting in another language, that'll come up as English captions on your screen. In the first place, I wanted to inform you that the project has been approved. And now we can start with the stage of the exploration of materials, colors and design in general. Harry has been working on various ideas and will present some proposals today. The third one is Co-Creator, which allows you to create and edit AI images on the fly. You can put in text prompts that will bring your ideas to life and change the kind of artwork that you get through creative sliders. Now, the magical thing about this experience is that the generated output is not only taking guidance from my text prompt, but also my inked strokes. So notice how these two blue blobs have suddenly become a more refined valley, just like that. So there are five different machine learning models running locally in tandem on the NPU to optimize for highest quality output over minimum number of, minimum number of inference steps. Making this experience feel truly co-creative, the generated output responding to every single stroke. Now, I actually really like what I have going on here, but I can also play with how much I want to let AI modify my image. You'll notice there's this creativity slider below the text prompt here. The farther I slide to the left, the closer we resemble my original drawing. Sliding it farther to the right allows the AI to play with a little more creativity or freedom. Now, once I've found the perfect balance here, I can actually take this a step further and continue iterating on top of my generated image. So I think a monarch would be the perfect touch here, hovering over this far right flower. It's going to be a big monarch. And uh, just like that, the AI nails it. And last but most importantly, there's Copilot, of course. Users get access to Microsoft's powerful AI and even to OpenAI's GPT 4.0 to enhance their experience and enjoy natural sounding voice interactions. These PCs will be available from 19 June, says Microsoft, and they can be pre-ordered now as well. So there you have it. Can Microsoft's new Surface PCs beat Apple's MacBook? Let us know what you think in the comments below.